okay? We're in uh, Jeremiah, the 30th chapter, in the third verse, for I say the Most High, he's giving us hope here. It says, For lo, the days come, said the Most High, that I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel and Judah. Israel representing the nine tribes of the northern tribes, and Judah representing three tribes, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, of the southern tribes, all 12 tribes he's talking about. That's why he say Israel, my people, Israel, and Judah, northern tribes and southern tribes, said the Most High. And I will cause them to return to the land that I gave to their fathers, and they shall possess it. You see? Because we didn't do right. That's why I go to, uh, hold that, get Jeremiah 14. We didn't do right. Therefore, the most I said, hey. I mean, 17 and 4. Jeremiah 17 and 4, he says, And thou, even thyself, talking to we the 12 tribes of Israel, shall discontinue from thy inheritance. That's our land that I gave thee. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies that we're doing now. In the land which thou knowest not, for ye have kindled a fire in mine anger, said, which shall burn forever. See? So, now that we're coming back to the fear of the Most High and the keeping of his commandments, that's why you can see in Jeremiah 30 and 3, he says, For lo, the days come, said the Most High, that I will bring again the captivity of my people, Israel. And Judah, all 12 tribes, northern tribes and southern tribes, said the Most High. And I will cause them to return to the land that I gave to their fathers, and they shall possess it. But he also told us this. As joined. He said, and these are the words that the Most High spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah, all 12 tribes. But thus said the Most High, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear. And not of peace. Ask ye now and see whether a man does travail with child. If a man having contractions like a woman have contraction when she having a baby. That's what he's saying. See if you can see that happening. Is that real? Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins? As a woman in travail like a woman have y'all women that had babies, you know what I'm talking about. I don't have a clue. I can imagine from what I've heard as a woman in travail, a woman having a contractions far apart, they get closer and closer. Ah, they start screaming and hollering. And all faces are turned into paleness. Alas, for that day is great so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. But he shall be saved out of it. You see? And we're in the time of Jacob's trouble. But he said we're going to be saved out of it. Those that come back to the Most High's rules and regulations, His law, statutes, and commandments. But it shall come to pass in that day, said the Most High Power hosts, armies of angels, that I will break His yoke from off thy neck. We have nothing to do with our mind, because that's where that's that's the yoke of iron that He have on our neck right now. The way we think, destroyed for lack of knowledge, for not following the Most High's laws, and will burst His thy bonds, and strangers shall no more serve themselves of Him. But they shall serve the most high power of their power, and David their king, whom I will raise and up unto them. Through a monster of shadow came out of the lineage of King David. Therefore fear thou not, O my servant Jacob, said the most high, need to be this made, O Israel, for lo, I will save thee from the far, like way over here in this western hemisphere, and I see from the land of their captivity. That's what the most high said he's gonna do. Making me something different. And Jacob shall return and shall be in rest. Jacob shall return to the land of Israel and be in rest. And be quiet. And none shall make him afraid. He said, for I am with thee, said the Most High, to save thee. Though I'll make a full end of all nations, whether I have scattered thee. Yet will I not make a full end of thee. Because one third of us going to be redeemed. But I will correct thee. We being corrected in measure, little by little, and will not lead thee altogether unpunished. You see? That's why he said, 
We just got to look at this for what it is. As he said, he's going to save us. So how we got to be saved? Luke 168. This is salvation. This is being saved right here. So I'm going to save you. Luke, the first chapter, verse 68 to 71. This is saved. Blessed be the most high power of Israel. In the New Testament, steal the power of Israel. The Israelites, not no one else. For he have visited and redeemed his people. His people. His people. Uh, his, who is his people? I came up with one today. Uh, what was that? First Samuels. First Samuels uh, 15 and 1. Who is his people? First Samuel 15 and 1. Let's see if that's it. We can define his people. He has visited and redeemed his people. Um, Samuel also said of this, uh, the Most High sent me to anoint thee to be king over his people. Who are they? Over Israel. You see? <laughs> so his people are still the Israelites. Then, now, and forever. Just salvation. This is being saved. Luke 168. Blessed be the most high power of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people who are the Israelites, and have raised up in horn, which is a power of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. Like he said, David gonna be our king? Yeah, King Amashai came out of Judah, out of the lineage of King David. As he spake by the mouth of his Holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we, the Israelites, should be saved. How? And from who? From our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. That's being saved. That we could be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. Right? To bring forth that rest. When we're going to have that rest, Isaiah 14 and 1. Isaiah 14 and 1. Bring forth that rest. Isaiah 14 and 1. For the Most High will have mercy on Jacob and yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers, these other nations, shall be joined with them. And they shall go be a remnant of the other nations, going to be joined with us, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. They're going to say, We know that the Most High is with you. They're going to be holding to our scripture, saying, We know that the Most High is with you. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the most side for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives whose captives they were. And they shall rule over their oppressors. You see? And it shall come to pass in the day that the most high shall give thee rest when we have servants and handmaids that's going to be working for us in the kingdom. Like y'all working for Esau and his, his kingdoms. And it shall come to pass in the day that the Most High shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear and from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve. You see? That's when we get that rest in the kingdom. So hallelujah to the Most High for prophecies of what we're going to look at and what we can look for. That's to come. We just got to be ready. You better be ready. That's for sure. <laughs>